know that you are having a hard time right now That everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel all alone Good morning everyone, it is Saturday the 27th of July and we have a relatively busy day planned today um, Bill has gone to his dad's so this morning um, I struggled more than usual this morning sending him off like sorry for the background noise, hoovering downstairs um, but um yeah, I don't know, everything's like completely normal and it is what it is but sometimes I just find some days harder than others but he has gone, he's coming back on Monday so it is just me, Mark and a little two and really really bad camera focusing not really sure what's going on there I am just, god there's a lot of noise going on downstairs Dad is screaming um, I'm just getting ready I bought this new you know have you heard of the brand called The Ordinary it's caffeine solution 5% EGCG don't even know what that means and it reduces the appearance of eye contour pigmentation and puffiness because I don't know I was looking at myself this week and I was like I think you're getting old love getting on a bit 31 so yeah i was trying to light up my skincare and i've got this back in my life again which is the ultra repair cream from thursday beauty but i've got the grapefruit scent natural infusion so it's no like nasty additive but this stuff is really really like thirst quenching for the skin my skin likes it and i just feel like i could do with a bit of heavy duty moisture up in here especially after the sun we are going to Nando's for an early lunch because we're trying to do all of this around nap time and then we're going to Ikea to scout out furniture for moving Bill and Daisy into the same room temporarily until we get the extension all finished which starts early next year um we were going to try and see if we could ride it out like until it was all done with Stan in here but the reality is if that's the case Stan's going to have been in our room until he is at least two and he's never had the experience then of being in his own bedroom and we're just sort of finding it a little bit harder these days you know like you'll do something for a while won't you but you know that luxury of coming to bed every night and reading a book or you know like fake tanning in your bedroom or just chilling out having an early night and i think that sometimes we're we're like unsettling him and he's unsettling us he sleeps really well well when he's not teething or poorly you know like standard stuff but generally he's a really good sleeper and we just feel like it's time bill and daisy seem really happy with the idea daisy knows that she's eventually going to move into here when the new bedroom is built which will be our room and he's going into daisy's room so we've got two bedrooms to decorate over the summer and get sorted and i want to do a good job obviously one of them will need a bunk bed so that's what we're going to look at at ikea today Sorry, coffee break, one more. Mm. And then, um, I think we're going to nip to the shops because with all of the, you know, like, school holidays starting stuff, this plonker here didn't do a um, food shop because she's an idiot. So we really don't have much in and I've been nipping to the shops, you know, those small shops where you're like, I'm just going to nip and get something, I'm just going to nip and get something again because we've been short in time or, you know, we've been melting in the UK because the weather's been ridiculous. Um, lovely, but wow, it's been hot. And um, yeah, now we've really not got much in at all. Um, so we need to grab something for tea at some point and then at the weekend, I tend to try and like cook something that's a bit like more of a not necessarily treat like naughty food but like you know just something a bit different a bit nicer and we'll probably feed those too early and then maybe have i fancy something spicy you know like something a bit different so that is the plan for today and hopefully we can fit furniture in our car with children i mean we are like a child down so i think we're gonna have to take bill's car seat out just to be on the safe side but yeah, and then I have literally no idea what we're doing tomorrow because contrary to having like a lovely week full of sunshine as soon as it gets to the weekend, 
as is always the case around here the weather dips okay i've got way too much concealer on there we're gonna smear this around the face um but yeah i so have no idea what we're gonna do so if the weather's nice you just it's easy isn't it like you just you just know what you're gonna do and you sit out in the garden or you go for a walk or whatever but when it's rainy it's a bit like mm, I'm not really sure not really sure so yeah that is where i'm up to at the moment so i'm gonna finish my base off and then get these kids in the car we need to get daisy dressed again because she's just spilled milk all over her dress um luckily the wash had just started so i chucked it in the wash and um stan hasn't even had the luxury of getting dressed this morning and he's just been chilling in a nappy so <laughs> that is the plan but yeah i will take you along with us and try and show you some bits in ikea as well see you later <laughs> bothered about what could be coming every day we danced and life was smiling we were young and drunk in love a few years later i have started thinking if it's just love in every glass i'm drinking we're like one and without you i'm sinking i'm always shining next to you you. There's no reason to Chasing pavement on my own Cause you're here to stay Every night and day I'm delighted cause I got you I have always been afraid of changes But you show me life is full of faces Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places But we were young and unaware Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing payment on my own Cause you're here to stay every night and day I'm delighted cause I... So we're at Ikea And it's not as busy as what I was expecting Normally we struggle to get this spot well, that was just unnecessary. It's very nice. It is very nice, isn't it? Um, but yeah, we're here now anyway, and we're going to go in. changed i mean i'm not actually complaining because it's quite nice to feel like cozy and indoorsy after sweating buckets all week um it's just a bit of a change of scenery but yeah we we did nando's which is lovely if you've never had the fino pizza 
you need to medium fino pita I, it's like got chicken thighs in and then it's got halloumi and a sweet onion relish and like lettuce and then another like sauce in there so good so good um but yeah then we went around down here the only issue was is that we measured the room and we measured the car so we knew what we were working with and we weren't still 100 percent decided on what we were going to order or like choose for the bedroom and we went round and we went to the picking bit you know the big warehouse bit at the bottom and we we're like right we're going to get it and then we were measuring the boxes just to once we made a decision and we didn't think they'd fit and we could do it if we went back and mark just went on his own but then there's the issue of like sometimes it needs to you to like lift stuff in and then it's not like our ikea is actually that near to us it's not like it's like you know just a quick trip it still takes quite a while so we're gonna have a look now um to see how much it will cost to get them delivered we know what we want now um we're going for a really basic bunk bed which while it's basic it's the only non-metal one I don't really like metal beds i'm not like a fan we used to have like a metal double bed and it would always like loosen and like creak and make noises and it wasn't it didn't feel like as sturdy as it probably could have been so we're getting a wood one and then we're going to get like a pax wardrobe type thing sorry where was i we just sorted daisy out she fell asleep in the car and you know when kids that don't normally nap anymore fall asleep and then wake up really grumpy that that's happening at the moment. Stan is in bed as well, by the way, because Mark did a successful cot transfer. Um, he's always quite easy to do that with, though. Um, but yeah, I thought I was going to say, yeah, we we picked what we want anyway, but we just need to try and order it online and look at like the costs instead, which is just it's a bit annoying. But like, what can you do? We did get some other bits though, so I thought I would show you. Um, there's a mini IKEA haul. We got four Droner boxes so if you've got like the calax storage that we do in our living room and in the kids bedrooms as well these like fold into boxes and we just got this kind of like neutral ot kind of color like a beigey i don't know very nondescript but it's neutral and it'll blend in well then we got this which is a lova i think it's called and it's like one of those leaf canopy things because i'm gonna go for a kind of bill's got like a neutral animal themed bedroom at the moment because when we did the room and he was two he was so into animals and it was like the best choice for him whereas now he's more into pokemon and dinosaurs and he is leaning more towards the dinosaur themed bedroom but rather than go like all out because what i realized is that i think you know, we do read to his bedroom when he was two or three i think it might have been three but he's seven now and it's only four years on and his taste completely changed and i feel like i don't want to keep redecorating his bedroom every few years just because he's got different preferences on things so we're gonna repaint the whole room give it a freshen up and you know just neaten it up a little bit and then we have got some wall decals coming from not on the high street like dinosaur ones so they can be peeled off really easily without having a last effect i'm gonna paint his radio uh, radio radiator a funky color and then obviously like we're going to be changing things around with furniture and stuff and readdressing the room mainly with him in mind as like an older boy he's growing up um obviously we want to make it daisy friendly as well but eventually because it's only temporary daisy will have her like gorgeous little princessy room that she wants when um when the time comes really so it'll be about this time next year i imagine but yeah what i was saying we got this leaf because i thought it would fit in with the design it's like a canopy thing that can go over the bed and i just thought it'd be quite cool up top where bill's like bed will be just to add a bit more like i don't know a bit of style a bit of depth something different so i got that then we got conned into these so we picked bill up one because obviously we didn't want to leave him out so we've got this little this little lion cub which is very cute actually Jan picked this and spent most of the time walking around ikea well, i say we were walking he was in the trolley but growling with it so he's very very happy with that and then daisy picked this little cat and what else i don't know if you're going to be able to see oh there's a picture we picked this light it is called industrial and there are several versions there was a lady laughing at me and mark having an argument well not an argument but you know when you're like i don't know it wasn't it we weren't even angry with each other we were just like fighting over which light to get basically and not getting this one in the end for their room because it's like a bamboo light and it will be quite like 
I don't know, it fits in with the theme of like outdoorsy, that type of thing. And um, I think it was about £25. And um, you can see it here, you've got to assemble it yourself. But really, really lovely lights in at the moment. Then we got two of these tumblers, which are quite art decory, I think. They're really, they're really nice actually, I don't know if you can tell. And then I also got two of these little glass coffee mugs because I'm a bit of a sucker for things like this and I just quite like it when you can see the coffee and you know like the split between the froth and the actual coffee do you know what I mean it's not sad probably yeah we've got two packs of the Ikea meal balls because like by the till there's like a little frozen thing that you can get them out of so we've got two packs of those because we're always handy to have and then there was a deal on with like every pack if you bought two of these as well you got money knocked off so this is the um the sauce you know that goes with it and it suggests that you serve it with your meatballs with mashed potatoes and lingonberry jam which is what i've got and then obviously some veg so i think we're going to have that for tea tomorrow and then i've got like i would say between everything that we've got we'll have like four portions to feed us all which will be quite cool and um, nice to have that in so pick those up as well and that was everything but um the only thing is is that we we're going to go to the shops because we've not got much in but because the kids have fallen asleep, we thought it'd be better to get back and at least get Stan in his cot. So I'm going to go out in that in a bit and it's peeing it down. But before I do that, I'm going to put all this away. Stick some washing in the dryer, which I'm gutted about using. But I've got Daisy's bedding in there. I'm going to have to use it today. And um, then I'm going to get changed first because I've been wearing sandals and now my feet are soaked. And uh, I just fancy wearing something like, you know, like leggings and a jumper. But I'm loving this. I've got this cardigan on ASOS and this is like a pink body as well. And um, it's a really nice outfit. It made me feel happy today. But I'm going to go and put this away anyway, so I'll see you in a bit. kind of stopped raining it's like drizzling a little bit but before it was peeing it down i'm just walking through there then like can't wait for when our extension is done not least because we'll get like new living space and kitchen bedroom and stuff but also because some of our house is kind of falling apart <laughs> like we've got like leaks in little places and like outdoors really oh i'm all wet i'm all wet oh but yeah it'll be fun when we actually um get it done but i'm gonna go i think we're gonna make chicken satay for tea the kids are gonna eat earlier though because they are gonna be hungry whereas i am stuffed after nando's early and i'm just not ready to eat yet and yeah looking forward to going to the shops on my own it's a bit of a luxury Mark was like I'll go if you want so you don't have to get wet and I was like no <laughs> I'll go on my own because it's dead nice
just looking out in the garden actually because we have a little brook thing that runs through our garden it runs through quite a few gardens on our road and the water level from what i can see is ridiculously high so we just have to watch out for that it flooded once got really really high it was back when daisy was tube fed and i had to go to the pharmacy to pick up some more of her medication because she had um baby gaviscon because i think the tube like irritates the stomach sometimes so she had a bit of reflux related to that and she would be sick if she didn't have it so i remember like panicking and trying to get to it um yeah i'm just watching that now thinking please don't rain anymore and please don't go any higher because this will not be good it's been a nice morning though it's just been like nice and lazy and cozy and this weather has actually made me think about autumn don't hate me like you know it's just you know when you're just stuck indoors and it's like dark and like rainy and it's all cozy and it just kind of makes me think about what's coming on the other side of the summer holidays because once September kicks in, I find it goes so quickly on the countdown to Christmas, or it does for me anyway. And when we go to B&Q later for paint, hopefully the weather doesn't get any worse, because we just need to watch for like closed roads and stuff. Then um, there's a home centre there, and I think I might go in and have a nosy at the candles just to see, just to have a little little look. But um, yeah, it's just been a slow slow day. I'm going to do IKEA meatballs later. Can't wait for that. I've got some potatoes in to do mash and I've got some veg as well. And I think we're just gonna be nice and cozy. I'm sure we will get out at some point and get this paint because we really do need to prepare because Mark is off for about 10, 11 days from Friday. So he'll be starting in here and I'll be helping him as well. Um, with the boys they'll be off but daisy will be in nursery and we're going to try and get it done for the kids and just get it all sorted and set up and then we can adjust to the new living arrangements and we can get a bit of space back in our bedroom which i'm really excited about but um yeah that's the plan for today and i'm quite enjoying it it's quite nice to wear like i've got a big baggy jumper on and it's actually quite nice to wear one and not be like sweating profusely in what I wear and just feel nice and cozy instead. So yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and enjoy those two whilst I'm asleep and I'll see you in a bit. Sing, won't you sing with me? Leave everything for me. Stay the night, oh, miss your flight. Walk through the rain with me. Get soaked to the skin, feel free Shut the world out Let's hang out Oh, I used to see in colors Now it's gray Till I met you at the concert the other day And um, 
Well, rain sends everyone doolally in the UK, doesn't it? And the sun does, and the snow does, and the wind does. We just don't seem to deal very well with the weather. <laughs> but um, there were quite a lot of roads closed near where we live, so we had to take a bit of a detour. But it wasn't too bad, although it has started like lashing it down again. So I'm still on like brook watch, just in case. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're home. We did be and We had some paint mixed by Valspar. Um, we used it in here before and I just, I don't know, really like their paint and really like the service and stuff so that's what we've gone for but I won't harp on about that now because um, I think what we're going to do is like do a little like video series of us decorating the kids room and do like a little tour or something when it's done um, so I'll save that for them because otherwise it'll be boring won't it but then I also went to Home Sense with Daisy and I thought I would show you what I've got. I'm just getting them out of the bag now. First thing that I picked up was some skinny syrups. I'm going to give them another go. I'm not a massive sweetener fan. And it was one of the things that I really struggled to get on with when I was doing Sunny World. Because I just think it tastes rank. And I don't like things overly sweet anyway. So like if I get a flavoured coffee for example. You finished your drink? Yeah? yeah? Do you want me to put it up here? Yeah? Okay, you want to come up? Yeah, so when I, oh it's gone all out of focus. Yeah, so when I get a flavoured coffee, I will always ask for like half the amount of syrup because I just don't like it super sweet. And I've tried these before and I don't know if I was putting too much in, but it just kind of went through me a little bit. But I thought I would give them a go because I've been enjoying, do not break my candles, young man. Um, I've been enjoying iced coffees a lot and I've started trying to make them at home to save money. So I got a peanut butter cup. What do you reckon? Yeah? Sounds good. And then I got my favourite go-to, which is hazelnut. I always go for like a hazelnut iced latte. Do you want your drink? Yeah? And then candle wise, I got these. So I tend to go for the DW Home range when I go to your home sense because they tend to be the nicest in terms of scent row. But the first one that I got was one called Calming Waves, which really, really smells nice. You know when like you give something to go and you think you're not gonna like it, but it smells completely different. It's like vanilla -y, but musky, and then it does smell a bit outsidey if you know what I mean which I guess it would do if it's calming weight so I got that one then I got this one which is I don't know what brand this is Loban company so I've never heard of them before but this is coconut and sea salt and it is beautiful do you want to smell smell no he's like what the hell are you doing that for mum this is like a bit salted caramelly, but you really can smell the saltiness and then the sweetness of coconut coming through, which I just thought they were really nice like to do me through the summer. I don't really like candles that much. I get a bit obsessed when it's autumn winter, but when it is summer, I hardly, hardly burn them. But I think because we are on the descent down to like September and stuff, I've kind of got more into the mood, which brings me to this one. It's farmhouse cider and it was only $6.99 and it's a very, very big one. And I feel like this would be more expensive if it was like autumn, but this smells very autumnal, you know, like cider, spices. It's a three wick one. This is a DW home and it's really nice. Smell that. He's <laughs> just like, no. So those were the ones that I picked up. So the smaller ones are 5 99 because they're like seasonal. And then the final thing that I got was some nougat, which is an amaretti one. So I love nougat. I've not had it in ages. So I might have a little bit of this tonight when you're in bed. You're not having any mamas. Yeah, thank you. But yeah, so now I am making IKEA meatballs with all of the trimmings. Are you going to help me? No? Oh, what do you want? Do you want the new guy back? <laughs> yeah, I want this back, thank you. Nothing is ever yours for long, mother. Oh, oh. Wish that I could stay Wish for this moment to never go away but it's all in my mind And though I know that there is nothing to find You're a beautiful sight in the summer night And you
you can't put up a fight in the mix delight. <laughs> Streets all alone And all you can see Thinking about what you're